Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. You know that. Let's go ahead and get into it. Before we get started, just so you do know, during this video, we are going to be talking about the topic of child exploitation on the interwebs. So just so you know, there's going to be a little bit of creepy stuff here and there. I am going to blur things. I'm going to try to make it a little bit more consumable for you so that you can at least be aware. But hey, that's what my channel is all about. Consumer awareness. So I guess today's video would really fall under the playlist, if you want to say, of unethical influencers. And today we're going to be talking about a very, very popular TikTok page called Ren.Eleanor. So I guess Eleanor is the last name because right under that it does say Ren and Jacqueline. Ren is the most beautiful, beautiful, cutest, sweetest looking little blonde sweet little girl. Absolutely precious and her mom, that would be Jacqueline. Now, they have over 17 million, pardon me, 17.3 million followers on TikTok, which is wild in itself. Now, yes, this little girl is, I want to say, like, maybe three, four years old, and just from the looks of it, yes, it looks like this entire page is just her. I mean, even the username literally says, her first and last name. Of course, yes, the mom is in a few of them, but I'd say about 90% of the posts are just of little Wren. Even the email address for, I'm assuming, PR inquiries at the top of the page is tiktokwren at gmail.com. So I'd say it's safe to say that this page sure is managed by the mom. Clearly, the four-year-old can't do it, but this page is the little girl's page especially since that's really all you're saying. Now, that is against TikTok guidelines, 1 million percent, 1 million percent. And there have been family vloggers and influencers who have made Instagram pages or TikTok in particular, TikTok pages for their toddlers. For instance, the Librant family, which they are just atrocious in general, but they, for instance, one of their daughters, or really, I think both of them, Either way, one of them, they had a TikTok for them, and it was clearly just the daughter's TikTok. You know, she was a little bit older. She was maybe like 8, 9, 11, whatever. And it had been taken down multiple times by TikTok or banned, suspended, whatever, because it was it got reported so many times. And because it was clear that it wasn't really the parents, it was just hers. There are a lot of people who have already made videos like this about this creator, and this topic has gone a little bit more viral. I want to say the last few months, especially with a lot of TikToks going viral about it. Now, if you're new here, you might just be thinking, it's just cute little girl, who cares? The thing is, there are so many creeps on the internet. So many creeps. By putting your child on the internet, you are putting them in danger. Now, there's a difference between, you know, having a private account, you know, sharing a picture of your kid. Okay, I get it. Listen, when we have kids, I will be not sharing publicly on my public Instagram. But yeah, on my private Instagram, of course, you know, that's just for family and friends. That's different. But there's over 17 million people seeing these videos. And that's not really one of the most concerning parts. So there are a lot of people who have been making videos about this account. And I'll have some of them linked down below too, just so you can get a little bit more information. But the thing is, is that people have been calling her out for a long time for exploiting her kid on the internet. Um, you know, she does ads with her kid as well, you know, for Target or for whatever. If you're monetizing your child on the internet, like, think about it. Would anyone be following her if, if it wasn't her kid, if it was just her? Would they? I mean, she's a beautiful girl, maybe. She seems like she makes good content. She knows how to, you know, work a viral moment. Sometimes they're not the most appropriate. So there's that unethical aspect of it. I mean, really those two, the privacy aspect, and then also the privacy aspect, the danger that goes into that. And then also the monetizing your kid on social media too is pretty shitty as well. And then also your kid can't give consent. Your kid cannot give informed consent. Yes, you know, kids love to see, you know, videos of themselves and, you know, doing filters and things like that on Instagram or I don't know, do people still use Snapchat? How old am I? So there's that aspect of it too. However, it's not over 17 million people, you know? There's a difference there. So sure, your kid might love being on camera, but they don't know 
do you, I'm listen, I'm 31. Do you know how thankful I am that that all like the I don't want to say sketchy pictures of me, but like all the embarrassing and like cringe pics of me. One, they aren't out there. We had to print that stuff out. And then also when everyone started using MySpace at like the end of my like eighth grade, seventh grade year, I want to say eighth grade into high school, like all those pictures are lost in the void there. So like that is wonderful. I don't need to see those. I don't want that to be, I mean, I don't care if it's out there or whatever, but it's nice to not have all of that on the internet. For instance, I know someone who just had a, well, I know of someone, I don't know them directly, but I know someone who just had a baby and I guess like they had had so many ultrasounds and it was saying that it was a girl, but then it came, the child came out and it was a boy. The parents were like joking about it and I guess either the mother-in-law or the mom, a one of the, someone in the family took a picture of the baby with like little wiener out and was just like sending it all over and being like, oops, it's a boy. My my friend got it on her phone and she's like, I, I have to delete this. I don't want this on my phone. Like what? It was very inappropriate. And you know, maybe we don't think about these things in passing. Um, you know, well, it's not that big of a deal. Sure to you, it might not be because you don't have that ill intent. But there are so many creeps on the internet. And if you think there aren't, just wait until you see some of the comments that have been left on the TikTok videos of this little girl. Now, just by scrolling through her TikTok, you'll start to see almost every video. Actually, yes, every video has a million views. And then you'll be able to see there is a spike in some of them. So for instance, this one with her with a filter on her face has has 107.5 million views and then there's ones where like she's eating or she has like her mouth open or or she's in the bath or sitting in like a prov i don't want to say provocative because i obviously am not like schmexualizing a child but to a creep they like that so when you're on someone's tiktok page you can see obviously the views and then once you click on that you'll be able to see the likes the comments the saves and the shares and the saves and shares on this account especially pertaining to which ones they are are so concerning there's one where and i'm obviously like i said i'm going to I'm going to blur out this little sweet angel's face, okay? And any, I'm going to put like a light, a light blur on the clips. But there was one when her mom was handing her money or a lollipop. Ren referred to it as a sucker. So she said, do you want money or do you want a sucker? And then the entire video was just the little girl saying sucker, sucker, sucker over and over and over and over again. And at first glance, you might be like okay, whatever. It's a lollipop. Who cares? But now seeing the whole picture, it is creepy. It does give you the ick. And after seeing the comments and then also, you know, the one of her in the bath has over or like her hair care routine. And that's a sponsored post. She's in the shower. She's washing her hair. She's wearing a little cute bathing suit. It's an adorable bathing suit. Uh, it's 17.8 million and she's like laying down in the bathtub. It's just so concerning. And listen, guys, I know I'm not being, you know, super articulate during this video. I just found out about all this this morning. Um, a bunch, a bunch of y'all have sent me stuff. Like I said, it's not like this is just now coming about. There have been articles written about this previously. There have been content creators who have made full videos on this. But more recently, there have been people on TikTok and now obviously it's gaining more traction because that's the platform that they're on mainly. So I thought about it. I was like, okay, well, maybe, you know, she has a huge audience. Maybe she just can't see any of the comments, right? I mean, I, hey, I I have 80,000 on YouTube and it's real hard to, you know, go through all the comments. I couldn't even imagine 17 million and TikTok is crazy. But the thing is, is that it seems like she's been getting these types of comments for years at least at least two years and listen if people are thinking something about you they're not going to keep it quiet okay so it's not like she has never heard any of this and that she doesn't see how this is wrong and as a content creator we know we know what's going like i know i know this video probably isn't going to get many views but i know if i do like a top fails video or uh, for mlms or i know if i'm doing a video 
you know, sneaking into a, like me actually physically sneaking into a um, MLM event, then yeah, that's going to get more views or like a Zoom call or something. So obviously you are going to listen to your analytics and do more of what works for you and what pays you more because this is your job. There's nothing wrong with that. But when what's getting you more views is your daughter eating, her sticking her tongue out and having her mouth open, or her being in a bathtub or dancing around in a crop top, when those are the things that get you the most views, there's an issue. It's a, re it's a real, real big issue. Now, there have been other creators, other people who have seen this and seen how creepy it is, and then from there have decided to take their own kids off of TikTok and off of social media. So I love that, but it doesn't seem like Jacqueline Eleanor has that is her name. Other people have called her Eleanor, but I'm pretty sure her name is Jacqueline. So she hasn't responded to this. So I think she's probably just going to, and this is all, just my own opinion, obviously, all of this is, but I think she's, <laughs> she knows and doesn't care and that this is probably her only stream of income. And she knows that if she doesn't post her kid, she's not going to get views. And I don't know if y'all know this, TikTok doesn't pay very well. Yes, they get millions and millions of views. That's wonderful. However, if she's not going to get those sponsorships, then she's not going to be making the kind of money that she would need since this is her only job, right? And if she's not posting her daughter and getting those views, she's not going to be able to do those sponsorships. Also, and this is just me being a nitpicky, deceptive marketing type of person, but the one of them talking about her hair care routine it's clearly an ad it says hair goals raw kids raw sugar made me buy it raw clean and then she tagged the brand then it says at target and then she tagged target as well that is an ad and it is not disclosed at all it doesn't say hashtag ad which it's supposed to within like the first four or five words or the for very first hashtag like on the very first line it's supposed to say ad and didn't disclose that. Now, she has so many followers, she probably got paid, I mean, if she knows what she's doing, probably, probably anywhere from like 40 to, uh, probably 40 to 80, maybe even 100,000, and yet you're not disclosing. And also, of course, the ones of her in her little two-piece bathing suit, which there's nothing wrong with having your baby or your toddler or your kid in a two-piece bathing suit, it's fine. But again, you got to protect your kids because there are creeps on the internet. For instance, this one right here has 35.4 million views. Now, I bet you right now she's either like putting something in her mouth or sitting in a way to where you can like see her inner thigh, which is awful, I know, or eating, well, eating something else is putting something in your mouth or she's in like a crop top or dancing or something. Let's see which one it is. I had a bunch of uh, creepy comments saved, but this one's perfect to add to it. It says she is perfect for my collection. And it was posted over a year ago. That's atrocious. And then there's even comments on this one that say things along the lines of people sexualizing a child here is alarming. Yeah. So wouldn't you think that the person who posted it, the mother of that child, would see that and know that they need to not post stuff like that to protect their child? Oh my god, that's disgusting. Uh, and then this one right here says she's learning early how to please his husband. That's disgusting. That is so gross. Um, another one, is it just me or does anyone else feel something off about this video or watching this video? Uh, what, is, what is with uh, you and these perverted shaped objects? Second video, wow, lady, some pervs are loving this. Come on, she's innocent and adorable. No, she knows exactly what she's doing absolutely this one says age is just a number right like it's so gross that video was saved 10,000 well 10.4 thousand times and then shared almost 20,000 and that's the thing is that like I said I mean that video was posted over a year ago it's still getting creepy comments on it it was getting creepy comments on it at the time as well and she's still still doing it. Like I said before, I know as a content creator, you may not see everything. You may not get to get to every single comment, but when things are flooding in like that, when there are all these videos being made about you, 
like there are these articles being made about you as well then yeah you're you're going to most likely see those someone is going to send them to you and i know there's a little bit more of like a separation between tiktok and the viewer opposed to instagram and the following there or youtube and the following over there i know youtube and instagram are like a little bit At least I feel that way. It's like you're a little bit closer to your audience. But then with TikTok, it's like everyone in the galaxy is watching you. It's not just your people. You're clickbaiting your content with like, (laughs) I don't even want to say sexually explicit pictures of your three-year-old or four-year-old, two-year-old, whatever, because that is just disgusting. But that's what it is. And it's so, I just feel so bad for this little girl. Um, and then probably one of the most popular ones on her channel has 78.9 million followers and not followers, views. And then it says personal space is non-existent. And basically it's saying like you pass your kids something that personal like hygiene tool or something. And then if they know how it's used or what it's used for, then that means that you have like no personal space with your kids basically. Like you could have used just nail clippers, You could have used like deodorant. I mean, she did use those things, but the main thing is not good. So that's obviously very concerning um, and not good, obviously. That's disgusting. So this one has, like I said, like 70, almost 80 million views and then 10 million likes, 10.5 million. And then over 150,000 comments, 385,000 saves that is so concerning and then almost 550,000 shares this like the shares and saves are really like are really just getting me and it's uh terrifying people in the comments are saying this feels wrong I don't know how to explain it but this feels wrong then why would you film her doing that uh it doesn't feel right watching this uh it seems like you let that child in too much of your personal space it's ordinary feminine hygiene there's nothing wrong with that yeah sure that's not the point the point is that you're you're showing your daughter basically touching her privates on the internet which is public um it says and you posted this why uh i wouldn't hand a toddler a razor uh yeah she and then this one says yum she should not see these stuff i don't i hope they meant um and not yum why would you post this nope this is not okay no didn't feel right and this is all last year this is not okay feels inappropriate and then one thing even said like she didn't even try to shave her legs like just went straight for the cooter and I feel like that's because she's like prompted by her mom to do that that's even obviously again that's just my opinion but I feel like I should be in prison after watching this someone said almost 400,000 saves to favorites yep yeah 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 fucking crazy (laughs) this tiktok is sus so like I said it's not like you know just this year or just within the last you know two months you know this this month july 2022 and then uh, june as well it's not like she's just now getting backlash for this she's been getting backlash for this so i was thinking possibly you know maybe she doesn't look at the comments maybe she just posts and dips out i know a lot of people who do that i mean i kind of do that on i kind of do that on tiktok sometimes you know i'll post it and then come back a few days later but the thing is that she just posted two hours ago and it's a video of just her, and and it says, how's single mom life treating you? Happy, free, confused, lonely, it's miserable, magical. Oh, yeah. There are people commenting on it and being like, oh, this is adorable, and she's responding. So she does read comments. Maybe just ignores them because she is getting sponsorships and getting that coin from, from all of this. Because think about it. The more any of us talk about it, the more people are going to go to it give it more engagement, share it with their friends and be like, look at this stuff. It's crazy. And then even giving it more views as well. That's more money in her pocket. So it's really unfortunate. I really hope that um, she understands how dangerous this is. But I mean, it's been going on for so long now. I don't think she cares. There's, There's no way that she couldn't know how people are sexualizing her daughter and how dangerous it is and how gross it is. Especially when like, the food, the crop tops, the tongue out, like all those things have been increasing so much more. Like, wouldn't you want to, wouldn't you want to know like, okay, why do people like this? You would look at the comments if something's doing really well, right? You look at the comments, you see like, oh my gosh, look at all this feedback. Okay. Shouldn't she see on there and see that she's being flooded with comments of people sexualizing her daughter? Even if that's not what she's trying to do for profit, wouldn't you still 
wouldn't that still make you uncomfortable and you would want to take that off of the internet? And you can say all day long, well, Chelsea, you're not a mom, you wouldn't know. That doesn't matter. Any, hu any decent human in this situation would see that and take it down, but she hasn't done that. You can't not see the comments. You can't not see what's being written about you. And then also in your analytics, you see that, especially being someone who does this, like I said, full time. You are well aware of what your demographic is. For instance, I know that my highest demographic is women between 21 and 37 in the U.S. And then right below that is Canada and the U.K. And I only have like 5% of men that watch me. Um, but they're around like the same, the same um, age range as well. So... Yeah, like most creators know that exactly what their like primary demographic is and, you know, the the male to female ratio. Um, and I have uh, a 1% non-binary as well, which I love. But, you know, she's well aware. She can't play dumb, in my opinion. And I think it's gross and she needs to get it together. I don't want to like weaponize my following, but realistically, she's breaking the rules of TikTok because a literal baby can't have literal baby can't have a, an account and she that's all she posts really other than like a post of just her or that includes her every once in a while but I mean like I mean if you want to report her account then do but I don't know it just it's obnoxious I will be reporting her to the FTC because she has clearly done ads and not disclosed that and you can't do that so I will be reporting her to that feel free to do that as well. Uh, the link to do that is in my link tree, which is in the link of my bio of all of my social media platforms and also down below for YouTube too. So hope you have a great day, night, weekend. Whenever you're watching this, please do subscribe. Merch and all that is down below too, linked in my link tree. Comment if you would like, what do you think about this situation? And I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye.